and um, <clears throat> YouTube contacted me back, and it seems like the issue is fixed, and I, sh I should be getting my money uh, from YouTube soon. It should be within the next few days that YouTube should pay me. Uh, we had an overdraft twelve dollars to get dinner. So if you could spare any money to to help us get some more food, we would appreciate it. We we ate as much as we could right now, but the thing is, <clears throat> we um our eating schedule is not orthodox. I guess I would say we, we don't. I mean, my girlfriend tries to eat stuff throughout the day so her blood sugar doesn't drop. Uh, but we don't have, like, any breakfast foods right now, any lunch, you know, really. She had some salmon earlier. That was the last can of it she had. And, uh, oh, have you seen this one? The old Adams family, this one. 1990. Oh, you got to see this one. This one. Yeah. Hello, we them boys. How you doing? God bless you. <clears throat> the thing is, I, I'm trying to get some snacks or just just food that we can eat, like maybe ca some canned food, maybe some sardines or Vienna sausages or, you know, tuna in a can so that we can, um, um, make it the next couple of days and make it through tonight because the thing is we eat dinner around this time or earlier usually and then we usually end up getting really hungry later in the night at 10 11 12 o'clock that's like our second second meal of the day you know so you know if if, if we can just get above the overdraft uh, you know, above zero because we were at negative twelve dollars again. Now, I'll show you. We are negative twelve dollars, and I, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who helped us get there. Yo, Joshua, how you doing? God bless you. I'm very grateful to everybody who helped us get dinner. Please help us get some more food before the stores close so that we can have a little bit of some food to eat tonight <clears throat> when we get hungry again and have maybe have some for tomorrow morning. Not any near me, someone. I promise you, if you send any money, it's going towards food. I will even show you the food we get. If you can spare any money for food, please do. Can anybody spare any money for its food with $12 negative? We thought we would have been paid by YouTube already, but there's been a little bit of a hiccup, a little bit of a situation. So if you can spare any money for food, please do. God bless. Yes, I have negative $12 after dinner. If I at least get the $12 and get back up above zero, then I can overdraft again to get some more food to last us a little bit longer. 
we did order some dinner with the donations that we just got and we're very grateful for that. We still are trying to get more food. We're gonna be hungry sometime tonight and in the morning and we're begging if anyone can spare any money to help us get more food. We are so grateful. We have, this is my cash app right here. We also have PayPal and Venmo in the poll in the chat, also in the description of this video and in the about section of my channel. I can show you right here. <clears throat> I am $12 negative in my account. Zero dollars and eleven dollars and ninety one cents. So, if anyone could please help us get above zero, he said no Venmo. Uh, we do have Venmo, I have Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo in the poll in my chat, also in the description of this video and in the about section of my channel. <clears throat> Can anybody please spare any money for food? Can anybody please spare any money? That's true, Gary, negative. $12 is better than negative 25. Can anybody please spare any money for food for me and my girlfriend, please? We are, we're at $12 negative on Cash App. Please help us out if you can. God bless. God bless you, A-OK. -okay. Can anybody please spare any money for food? Hello, Sean. Thank you so much. Somebody named James. Just sent fifteen dollars, James A. painting. I think that that was James A. painting. Is there a reason why the two of you don't have jobs? I'm sure you get this question one million times a day, but I'm just honestly curious. Okay, hold on. Um, James, James sent a uh, um. James sent a $15 donation on Venmo. Thank you so much, James. Thanks to James, we can overdraft the account again to get something to eat tonight. We had some dinner, but you know, our eating schedule is a little different right now because we get hungry at like five hours after dinner, like at 12 o'clock or something. And we, we don't eat too much during the day. Thank you, James. Um, Okay, okay, hold, hold on. I want to answer your question, James. Just give me one second. Um, <clears throat> James, I, I want to say this. Um, I did have a job in, uh, California for a few months, um, and I, I met my girlfriend and we decided to move across the country so we could live, uh, on our family's land and build a tiny house here and plant and grow f fruits and vegetables and maybe become fruit and vegetable sellers one day, you know? Um, and the, th the thing is, is, uh, 
you know, we just uh, moved across the country two months ago. Uh, we don't have, nobody here has a car and we do not live in town. Um, and almost every day I've been focused on survival. And there was a point a few weeks ago when I wanted to try to save up for a car. Um, but it was very hard to do with all the daily expenses. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, I, I, I can tell you this, that um, me and my girlfriend are doing what we can uh, to try to find work and have jobs, you know, if, if we can do that. Um, we are, we, none of, neither of us have given up on working or are against working, you know, um, people have different situations that they go through and I can't, uh, I can't give too much information about my employment status and all of this because, uh, of how many stalkers I have. Like, it may be, uh, you know, for people who haven't been watching me for years, like others have, people who, who may be new to my channel, you know, they may not, may not understand the extent of what I go through with stalkers. It, it sounds crazy. It, it really does sound crazy, but um, I can tell you that um, I do everything I can on my own. And when I come up here and ask for help, I really do need it. Or if it's something I want, you know, then I'm just straightforward and honest. And I do what I can. And I'm trying to do everything I can in my life to be self-reliant. Obviously, I'm not at, at this moment. And I'm sorry for that. So, I hope, uh, you know, like I said, yes, I did move from California months ago, but nobody here has a car. In California, I lived in town, and I could, I could walk to work. Here, walking to work <coughs> would take at least an hour, maybe two. You know, and some people say, oh, that's nothing, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I don't like walk, walking on the freeway or highway, you know, or the roads that you can go 55 miles an hour. Because, you know, all it takes is for one, one intoxicated driver, you know, that's all it takes. And then, boom, you're no longer on this earth. You understand that? Or you're severely disfigured for life. I, I really do not trust walking alongside cars that are going that fast. You know, and, and that, that's just a personal thing, you know, and, and you, you can accept that or reject it however you feel about it, but that's just, that's just how I am, you know. Yeah, you know, if I need to, like, <clears throat> if I was stranded in town and I just needed to get home, you know, one time, yeah, I, I would do it. Uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put myself in that dangerous of a situation every single day, repeatedly, you know, because all it takes is for one time for a, uh, uh, driver under the influence to swerve just a little bit and hit you and end your life. And if you have to do it, if you have to walk along those high speed cars one time because you need to get somewhere, that's, you know, it's sometimes it might be worth the risk because you're just doing it one time. What, what are the chances, right? But if you're w walking that road every day, walking next to those cars going 55, 60 miles per hour, you're putting yourself out there a lot more and there's a lot more opportunities for that one under the influence driver to be driving that day. Know, you're gambling every day with your life doing that you know and a lot of people do it a lot of people do it because they got to do it uh, and, and I have respect for those people you know, I'm not I'm not knocking them you know God bless them 
God bless the people who do stuff like that. You know, it's, it's, it's fucked up that they have to do it in the first place. But still, God bless the people that go through that. It's just, you know, the, the thing is that as, as, as a working class person, yo, yours truly, how you doing? Hello, how you doing, Amaya? Um, as a working class person, we have to stand up for ourselves, you know? That's the only way things have ever gotten better, is if we stand up for ourselves. I do work, Blue. I may not have a job right now, that doesn't mean I don't work or that I'm not working class. You know, I'm definitely not the owner class. I don't, I don't own any private property. You know, I don't, I don't own any uh, farms that I have workers to tend, tend the fields on. I don't own any rental properties. I don't own any factories. I'm a working class person, whether I have a job or not. I got to work to survive or beg or starve, you know. So the thing is, thing is you know back in the day ch children look poor children were expected to work so their families had enough you know the only reason that stopped is because people stood up to it that they protested against it they decided they're not going to do it what did they say about the market right supply and demand right the labor market is the market of buying people okay the capitalists, the employers, they buy people, okay? They buy people for a set of period of time. They don't buy them all at once, but they buy them piece by piece, right? Um, and so when you're in a, in a situation where, um, when you're in a situation where the only way for you to go slave away for somebody else to make them rich is to put yourself in a very dangerous situation walking down walking right next to a road that cars go over 55 miles an hour on uh then you know you're just when you accept that then nothing's gonna change you know we have we, we can't accept stuff like that, you know. The, the, you know, and then what if I die, right? My girlfriend, we are broken. You know, I couldn't leave her. I couldn't get run over by a car. I couldn't risk that. You know, just just so I can go make somebody else rich, I think not, because they get rich off of your labor power. And so, at the end of the day. You know, maybe I need to start a protest for public, more public transportation, you know, whatever I can do. But, you know, people shouldn't be expected in our society to walk alongside death machines traveling at speeds of 555 miles per hour. Um. We did not get paid by YouTube yet, unfortunately. I want to say thank you so much again, James, for helping us tonight. We're going to have to overdraft again, but with your help, we will at least be able to get some more food tonight, some snacks and some things maybe for tomorrow. It's not really snacks. It's just the whole stuff to hold us over because we don't eat a lot during the day and we get more hungry at night. So, thank you guys so much. See y'all a little later, maybe.